Hey everybody, Happy New Year. Lisa Davis here with Image by Lisa and today's Makeup Tip Monday. I have already done this sparkly, beautiful, glittery eye for New Year's Eve and I already did a video on it. So it's on my YouTube channel and you probably got it emailed if you're on my email list. But today I wanted to kind of talk about the new year because I'm all about looking and feeling your best. You guys know that, right? Um, and occasionally I stray away from makeup and talk about something else. And today I wanna to talk about health and nutrition because it's New Year's and we're all have, have goals, hopefully. And I would love to hear from you guys today. So as you're listening in, I wanna tell you a little story, but I'd love to hear from you what your goals are for the New Year. So make sure and pop in, tell me what some of your goals are for 2020. But wanna tell you what happened to me last year. So you guys know I've always been super fit super healthy. I've always worked out. In fact, my dad got me my first gym membership when I was 16 years old. I started going to New Life Fitness here in Tallahassee. I was certified as a personal trainer and group fitness instructor. I taught for 10 years, loved it, um, but it really got me on the road to fitness and nutrition, which made me feel like I was immune to a lot of things. And um, I have always subscribed to a very low carb, high protein diet. Diet's important to me, nutrition's important to me. Um, and then in uh, like, I guess two years ago, cause I'm about to be 42, when I turned 40, I started experiencing some um, pain in my throat and in my neck. And I thought, <laughs> so silly I am, I thought that what I was experiencing was due to my Botox. Now I get Botox in my forehead and I thought I was having a side effect because the taste is very metallic to me. It almost tastes like um, like coins or something. Um, it's a real metallic taste in my throat. It also feels like a lot of the time that somebody's got their hand around my neck and it's just squeezing. And I did a lot of research on my own, went to the doctor, um, went back to the doctor, was sent to a specialist, I went to an ENT. Apparently my throat looks fine. There's nothing as far as um, an ultrasound that looks weird inside of me, but I have a case of chronic acid reflux. Now most people feel that kind of stuff in their esophagus and right down lower, which I have felt because I, you know, I have four children, I've had four pregnancies and um, Acid reflux and heartburn is super painful. For, so for those of you who have had it before, I'd love to hear from you too today in the comments. Please let me know if you've had acid reflux or heartburn. So um, anyways, went to the ENT. They um, gave me acid blockers, so PPIs. So all the different kinds of PPIs. And the more research that I did, the more that I realized that PPIs are not good for you. They were never intended for you to be on long-term, ever. Um, and so I was on the PPIs, but things weren't improving. So then the doctor sent me, the ENT specialist sent me to a gastroenterologist specialist. He literally walked in the room, asked me what my symptoms were, handed me a prescription and walked out the door. And I asked as he was kind of scurrying away, I was like, well, does it sound like what I have is acid reflux because it's so chronic, it was affecting my everyday life. I was always constantly had my hand here feeling my throat. Um, I also had a lot of stomach problems, still occasionally will have like GERD. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard, heard of GERD. I have GERD, but it's, um, I have the bloating, the cramps. Sometimes my stomach is so bad after eating certain meals that it hurts to walk. Um, it bloats way out, it hurts to touch. Um, and he said, oh yeah, that's what it sounds like. Well, he just handed me a prescription for twice the milligrams of PPIs that I had prior. He did not say anything else to me. He did not explain to me what I had, explain what I could do to help alleviate some of the symptoms. Um, never talk to me about food. Nobody talked to me about food. Not my primary care, not the ENTI or the gastroenterologist. Nobody said to me, here's some foods to avoid. Here's some foods that can help. Here's some supplements that maybe could suppress some of the symptoms. You know, and I've read a ton of things. There's ginger and aloe vera juice and apple cider vinegar and all these different things you can do to help with the condition. Uh, but nobody ever mentioned that. They just kept pushing pills on me more and more. So 
when he walked out and he hit handed me twice the milligrams of the same PPI that I was already on and not having any relief, I knew that I couldn't, I didn't want to go that route and I knew from what my research told me that PPIs are not good for you. Not good for you. So I decided to go on a little journey this year and that is why I wanted to share some things with you guys today because I see all the resolutions, all the goal setting, especially the new year, people wanna get rid of the fluff, they wanna get rid of the bloat, you feel yucky because you've been eating all this Christmas crap. And um, yes, that's all awesome and great and good. And joining the gym is really, really good. But here's the reality of it. 50% of the people who join the gym this month will quit in four weeks. They will be done in four weeks. By January 31st, they will not walk back into the gym. 80% of those people who join the gym this month will quit within five months. And so we see this influx. Everybody's got these great big goals. Well, that's great. And I'm not trying to discourage you from joining a gym. What I want to encourage you in is that nutrition and health are more about diet than they really are about workouts. And you guys know I'm saying that from a place of loving my workouts and loving exercising and I love the gym but 80% of the battle is nutrition. And, it, and, it, and it's not about just calories in, calories out, losing the weight. It's also about health and solving chronic illness and disease. So that is something that's really been impressed on me this year because I used to be all about low carb, keto, um, calories in, calories out, it's all math. Staying hit, um, fit and healthy, it's all math, it's just calories. It's just, do you burn more calories than you take in? That was used to be my perspective. And now I'm learning through a lot of research and I wanna recommend a book to you that it's really more about what you put in your body and that all calories are not created equal. Some calories actually carry, or some calories and foods actually carry information to my cells that heal my body, that's the way God designed it to be, and can fight chronic disease. And this is so important. I felt like I had to impress this upon all of us right now because the American diet is what we call SAD. The standard American diet is SAD. It is 70% processed. We are 70% overweight and obese. We are overfed, we are undernourished, and chronic disease is on the rise. So this new year, I wanted us to kind of shift our focus, at least that's what's happened for me this year, and it's not about just looking good. For me now, in my 40s plus, it's about health. It's about chronic disease. It's about preventing cancer and autoimmune disorders and Alzheimer's and dementia and acid reflux and bloat because I wanna be there and be present for my children and don't, I don't wanna have these symptoms. And so that took me on a journey to really listening to a lot of information and reading a lot of information from functional doctors. Doctors who try to solve the cause of chronic illness and disease instead of just treating the symptoms of chronic illness and disease. That has been the biggest shift for me is to understand that m the number one cause of disease in America is, is lifestyle related. And so if we can prevent it from happening and also lessen the effects of it through what we eat, we can become a healthier society. And so I wanted to just reach out and show this book to you. Now, those of you who follow me on Instagram, because I know most of you who follow me on Facebook do not follow me on Instagram. It's a younger demographic on Instagram. I have twice as many followers on Instagram than I do on Facebook. Um, so those girls on Instagram have seen me post this over and over and over again, but it's called Food. What the Heck Should I Eat by Dr. Mark Hyman. Um, you guys know I love to read and I love to recommend books, but I have been telling everybody that I've come in contact with, get this book, get this book. It will blow your mind. So he takes every single food group and he really breaks it down. He talks about the studies behind it, the science behind it. What we as Americans have accepted to be true isn't really true, why that is. You know, do you remember in the 80s, cause I'm, I'm in my 40s, so those of you who are over 40 remember in the 80s and 90s how we accepted the low fat, high carb, 
everything was low fat and as long as it was low fat because we believed that saturated fats were wrong and bad for you and caused heart disease how we all adopted that and how now everything's being turned on its head and that's not really what Americans accept as being truth now and so it, it's interesting to read that history you know of where we've been and where we're headed and um, um, so he talks about those studies every study that all of those were based on every nutrient phytonutrient that foods have in them um, the benefits the drawbacks the farming how things are sourced how things are farmed um, the soil that things um, that food is grown in and it really woke me up because I've always thought ah organic ah, it doesn't matter it matters and um, not only can you get fit right but you can get healthy so I'm I am um, now symptom free now there are some things that I'm missing like I, I can no longer have any kind of flavored beverage, you know, but again, I had to find all that out on my own. Nobody told me that no doctors really explained any of this to me. I had to research all of it on my own. So no flavored beverages, of course, no sodas, no, you know, sugar as well. It makes it worse. And it's just not, it's not just me. So if you are listening and you have brain fog, fatigue, early dementia, autoimmune disorders, um, hormone imbalances, heart problems, diabetes, pre-diabetic, I encourage you to read the book because one thing that's helped me that I have understood through my research is that certain things that we eat causes inflammation. It feeds an acidic state. Inflammation is a breeding ground for disease. So the things that I was eating were contributing to my symptoms. So you can see a lesson in the symptoms that you've got um, and, a, and, and a reversal sometimes of the disease through what you consume. And so that's been the biggest shift. It's not just calories in, calories out, all calories are created equal. It's been, wow, I've really realized that the calories that we eat carry information and they're not all created equal. Some can heal my body and some can harm my body. Some can cause disease and some can cure disease. And so I want you to read the book. It also comes with, I bought the cookbook for Christmas. Food, what the heck should I cook? Love the cookbook as well. Um, and then, you know, the last thing I'll say is if you are looking to really improve your nutrition this year, start the detox with me. Everything that I have read supports what I do with Arbonne, which is a month long detox, getting off of sugar, acidic, allergenic, foods that breed disease and just breaking that cycle, giving your body a break, opening up those drains of elimination, giving your liver a break, giving your kidneys a break, you know, allowing all the toxins to flow out of your body. And so I would encourage you to watch that video. I'm going to post it in the comments later so that you can go back and watch the video because this video is not about um, Arbonne's 30 days to, you know, 30 days to healthy living is the name of our um, cleanse. But I want you to watch it though, so that you can hear about it and you can start with me. I start next Monday, January 6th. So far I've got 15 girls going through it with me. I'm gonna coach you through it. I have a private group for those girls. We share all of the recipes, the shopping lists, the do's and don'ts. I'll be going live within the group to teach these concepts because what, what it's done for me is it's gotten me gluten free, it's gotten me sugar free, and it's gotten me dairy free, which took my nutrition to a whole nother level. I actually see abs coming through, okay? I have never seen abs on my body ever. I've always had a flat stomach, but I've never seen abs. I'm seeing abs, which is so cool. Um, as a side effect of not having symptoms, <laughs> I mean, seriously, I'd rather take this over the abs any day. I don't feel the squeeze. I don't have the symptoms that I had before. And so I've learned that Arvon's 30 Days to Healthy Living lines very much up with what I'm learning from these functional medicine doctors in that we really have to detox our body, break the addictive cycle to sugar, junk food, and processed food because it is feeding disease. So. I'm going to put in the comments a couple of videos. One is a video by Dr. Mark Hyman that I've loved. So it's called Food is Medicine. I'm going to link a second video that is called Bright Minds. It's an, um, all of these are doctors and they have nothing to do with Arbon. Um, it was about dementia, Alzheimer's, and repairing your brain. 
And so if you have brain fog issues with concentration, I encourage you to watch that one too because that was so interesting about how nutrition affects what you do to your head as well. And then I will post one more video about the 30 Days to Healthy Living. Again, we start Monday, January 6th. And I'm kicking it off with a detox dinner at my house here in Tallahassee. If you can't be here, you can be live with us because I'm going to be going live at the dinner to really give an overview of the program, how we detox ourselves off for 30 days. And then after the detox, what I have done now is I'm living what we call a 90-10 or an 80-20 lifestyle. So I am compliant with the program 80 to 90 percent of the time. Yes, I had cookies over the holiday. I ate the cheesecakes and the fruit pies and all the mashed potatoes. I did, but it's what I'm doing most of the time that matters. The same is going to be for you. So if you've got New Year's resolutions this year to get healthy, my just wanted to impress upon you that yes, the gym is great, but diet is everything. Diet's everything, you know, and that's got to get in order first. Yes, you're going to lose the weight. But if you have any of these symptoms, like we talked about, fatigue, brain fog, autoimmune disorders, um, you know, you have insulin resistance, pre-diabetic, diabetic, I urge you, look at your diet first. Look at some of these videos that I'm going to post by these guys, these doctors, read the book, really learn and dive in because there is always more to learn. It's easy to think you know it all. We don't know it all. We don't. So anyway. I'll put those in the comments and I, I get back to makeup topics next week. If you want to know how to do my sparkly New Year's eye, I'm dressed for New Year's because I have to go do some other work today. Um, I do have it on YouTube. So it's Image by Lisa on YouTube. It's also within this group on Facebook at Image by Lisa. You can watch me how to use glitter because I used loose glitter today. I did a video on how to put your eyelashes on. So there have been lots of good videos for New Year's lately. All right, Happy New Year's, girls. Reach out to me if you want more information. I'd love to have you in my group. See you next week.